Hello, today we're looking at solutions for key stage three chemistry. We're going to learn some key terminology around the idea of solutions that are very important for us to know and remember um, for chemistry. So here we have a beaker of water. We can place some salt in that beaker of water and we would call that salt a solute. In this case, we'd call it a solute. So there it is at the bottom of the beaker there. We would describe the water that we put the salt in as a solvent. We could then do a little stirring of the water to help the salt dissolve. And as the salt dissolves, we end up with a solution. In this case, we'll call this solution salt water. You could call it salty water or even sometimes called brine. However, the key part of this is that we have a solution. So there's our solution. So there's some of the key terms we need to know and remember. Solute, solvent and solution. We need to be able to explain what they mean and understand them. So firstly, with the idea of solute, this is a substance that can dissolve in a solvent. So that's what we mean by solute. In our example, we had salt. The solvent is the liquid that can dissolve a solute. So our solute was salt in this case, and the solvent was water. When we mixed those two together and gave it a stir, we had a mixture of the dissolved solute in the solvent, and that was our solution. A couple of other words here as well. The word insoluble, this refers to or is about a substance that will not dissolve in a liquid. One example could be something like sand in water that would not dissolve, so we would call the sand insoluble. The opposite of that is soluble, and that would mean a substance that will dissolve in a liquid, the property of a substance that will dissolve in a liquid. One final term that we haven't talked about yet so far in this slideshow, and that is the idea of a saturated solution, a saturated solution. Now, this is a solution that cannot dissolve any more solute. To help us understand this a bit better, let's have a look at a quick animation. Here's our beaker as we had before, and our salt solution being placed in the beaker. There it is at the bottom. We could give it a stir as we did last time, and we would have our solution as we did last time. Now, what we can do in this case is actually add some more salt, add quite a lot more salt. There it is at the bottom again, Again, we could give it a stir, and in this case, what actually happens is some of the salt dissolves, but not all of it. And we could stir it for as much as we want, however, that salt won't dissolve. We say that the solution is saturated, so we have a saturated solution, and that basically means that no more solute will dissolve unless you raise the temperature of that solution. So that's a saturated solution. So here's our key terms. So these key terms are quite important in chemistry. So what we're going to do is a little quiz to see how well we've done. OK, so here are our words. They're all mixed up and now hidden. So if we have a few sentences with the missing terms, you have two levels of challenge here. First, you can see if you can remember the words and see where they go. Um, if not, you can wait and I'll reveal the words and then see if you can match them up. And then I'll give you a moment to have a go at that now. If that was a little bit tricky, here are the words. And you can slot the words into the gaps. Remember, the gap doesn't have anything to do with the length of the word that goes in there. And there is one more word than you actually need. So let's go through the answers. The first one was insoluble. Water is a solvent for salt. Sugar is a solute when mixed with water. A solution is produced when a solute is mixed with a solvent. And a saturated solution cannot dissolve any more solute. The one that we didn't use was the word soluble. And if we wanted to put a definition of that, we could just add that. Soluble is a substance that can dissolve in a solvent or in fact dissolve in a liquid. 
So there we have it, some important key terms to do with solutions in chemistry. Very important terms that we will be using throughout our chemistry course all the way up to GCSE and beyond. So worth quizzing yourself on those to make sure you know them. Other than that, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.